What's going on guys? Welcome to Forza Motorsport 7. Today we are taking an in-depth look at all of the cars coming to Forza Motorsport 7, including all of the DLC cars and all of the Forza Edition cars. Now sit back, relax, this is going to be a pretty cool one because I guarantee you there are going to be some things on this list that you did not expect to see. I know I did. I was scrolling through this list and I'm like, oh my god, I didn't know that was in the game, I didn't know that was in the game. So sit back, relax, I'm looking at you specifically Cadillac and Mazda bringing out the coolest things ever. There are also going to be some new wide bodies that you probably did not expect to see in this game either. Um, so feel free to pause at any point in this video and take a closer look at these cars because there are some very, very cool ones. I'm going to be making a lot of videos on a lot of these new cars and a lot of these new wide bodies because they are so cool. So make sure you are subscribed for that. Anyways, I wanted to let you know, actually, uh, yeah, I wanted to let you know about the giveaway we currently have going on for Forza Motorsport 7. There's a link in the description down below. You guys can take a look at it. We're giving a copy of Forza Motorsport 7 away to a lucky viewer. It takes like two seconds to enter. We're choosing a winner, not this Sunday, but the Sunday after that. So it gives everyone a fair chance to enter and get their entries in. You can enter every single day and better your chances that way. But yeah, I just wanted to sort of give back to you guys by giving you guys a copy of Forza Motorsport 7. So, we're about to get to one of the very, very cool cars uh, in this game. I urge you guys to pause it as soon as we get to Cadillac. It is this first one, the ATSV Forza Edition car. That thing looks absolutely incredible. The wide body, the wing, it is uber aggressive. And then you will notice some things as we go through Chevy as well. You'll see the, the same sort of Forza Edition cars, some of them that we had in Forza Horizon 3, but there are some new ones for Forza Motorsport 7. For instance, the Chevy SS that we went past and two lowriders. We have Monte Carlo and we also have, is it an Impala we have as well? That is another sort of lowrider car again. So, so cool. Be on the lookout for videos featuring these guys. They are absolutely insane. I cannot wait to jump into those. So, I should probably talk about what's going on on screen, because when I first came onto the screen, I was like, whoa, this is really different from anything we've had before, and a lot of little subtleties that I didn't really know what they did when I first jumped into this, but after spending some time with the game, I figured out what all of this is. So, let's jump into it and break down the whole screen. Up at the top of the screen, as you already always have, you have your brands going up across the screen. When you're in buy a car, you'll have the price. Uh, of the car and your money that you have in the top right hand corner of the screen but because I'm in rent a car to show off all of the cars to you guys we don't have the prices sadly. Um, on the bottom hand of the screen we'll start it up with the with the thing that you ch see changing for every single car that says like GT cars, supercars, 90s cars, whatever it might be you'll see those scrolling through. Those are sort of like the class I guess you can call it or the category of car. Now when you're doing homologation stuff in the game, you'll be grouped into cars that are the same class or the same category, whatever you want to call it, and you'll be going up against similarly ranked things. That You'll figure out how the, all the homologation stuff works pretty quickly once you jump into the game. Anyways, along the bottom hand of the screen, we have all of the car specs in this game. Now however, for Forza Motorsport 7, there's no actual acceleration, um, or sorry, a, a launch. Uh, spec or launch stat in this game. It's a bit weird. I don't know why it's not shown in this, but it, it, it definitely surprised me, I can say. Anyways, um, after that, we have the car class, same thing as always. Then we've got the drivetrain and the country of origin. All of that is exactly the same. It's just sort of placed in different parts. Anyways, on the left-hand side of the screen is where most of the new stuff is happening. So, as we go through, you will see under the brand logo, you will see what sort of rarity the car is. You'll see most of them are tier 1. They're common cars, then they're uncommon. Super rare, rare, and I think the last one's like legendary cars or something like that. Anyways, those mean that's the tier you need to be. So say, for example, these Formula E class cars, or the Formula E cars. These are all tier 3 cars. So say, for instance, you want to buy a Formula E car, if you so choose to do that, I don't know why you would. Anyways, um, if you wanted to do that, you can. You need to be tier 3. Now, you have a car collection score in this game. Now, you'll see in the top right-hand corner of every single one of these that there's a number. It says plus whatever the number is. That is how much score you get for buying or owning that car. Once you obtain a car, whether you buy it, you win it, or you get it from a prize crate, or you do a showcase event, whatever the method is of getting the car, as soon as you own it and you obtain it, you get that much score in your garage for owning it. So, 
all of those will add up and give you a score. Based on the amount of score you have, you will have a rank, your car collection tier. I will say, after playing the game for an hour and a half, doing the career mode, which in case you haven't checked it out yet, oh my god, I've been having so much fun with the career mode stuff, um, I went from tier 1 to tier 2 pretty quickly, and I'm almost, I think, halfway to tier 3 already. I know there were some people who were a little bit like, whoa, I don't want to, like, grind for a month, two months, whatever it might be. To buy a Lamborghini. No, 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 don't, seriously, don't worry about it. The car collection stuff goes quite quickly, especially if you want a top tip. If you have either VIP or the Deluxe Edition or the Ultimate Edition, or if you have the Car Pass, you're going to be getting free cars every single month. All of those free cars will still give you a car collection score. So if you're ever short on car collection tier stuff, you will just get a bunch of it. So as soon as you start the game, you'll just be given... For instance, say you have the Ultimate Edition of the game, which comes with the Hoonigan car pack and the and the Fast and Furious car pack. You're going to be given a bunch of cars straight out of the gate, and your car collection tier is going to go through the roof. You'll probably get to car collection tier level 2 straight away. So, like I said, I seriously wouldn't worry about it. Maybe it will be very hard to get to car collection tier level 5. I don't really know, but we'll have to see. I, I would really doubt it, though. I would imagine it's going to be something you can really do within like a week or so because some of these cars you get crazy crazy amounts of points for because where i am now i think for the difference between tier one and tier two is like 400 points and then tier two to tier three i think is like 2000 points you'll see some of these cars you could do it like on that car alone advance the tier um so yeah it do not worry about your car collection tier stuff it, it will go quite quickly i promise you that also i should say uh, be on the lookout for a money guide video coming soon because I know as per always with all of these games There are always people who want to get as much money as possible and are always struggling for money Especially early on in these games. I will say stay tuned I'm gonna try to have a money video out at the end of this week or early next week because uh, As you guys probably know I went out and Microsoft invited me out to play the game early and I learned a bunch of stuff uh, when I was playing it for the first time so I do have a pretty good idea of how you can get some money in this game. I will say again, it's not super difficult to get money, but if you would like some extra tips, I will show you how to do that. Oh, we missed the Mazda. I forgot to comment on the Mazda. There's a crazy what? Rewind the video. Go to that Mazda. I forgot to, forgot to comment on it when it was up on the screen. But um, yeah, there are some really, really cool cars that you will find in the game. Uh, all the DLC cars are currently in this video as well. That includes the day one car pack, which was the Fast and Furious car pack. And as well as all of the Hoonigan stuff. Uh, this also has all of the Forza Edition cars. So if you see cars with like a crazy, crazy wide body, it is a good chance that that is a Forza Edition car. Um, so that Cadillac that I called out earlier in the video, that Mazda uh, I called out earlier in the video as well. Those are all Forza Edition cars and those are things that you, you can't go in and buy them straight from the garage. It's similar to Forza Horizon 3 where you'll have to do like Forza-thon events. You can get them from prize crates. You can get them from... Uh, what else can you get them from? You can get them from the auction house. Things like that basically. It, again, it's not very hard to, to do it. If you watch my career mode video, I think I already own four or five or or Forza Edition cars. Excuse me, that's what they're called in this game. Um, so yeah, again, not super, super hard. Also, I completely forgot to call it out earlier, but along the left-hand side of the screen, again, you'll see that the background of most of the cars is white. Now, uh, at some points in this video, I don't own many cars at the point of recording this video, but you'll see that some of the backgrounds of some of the cars are like a blacky, like, checkerboard almost type thing. Those are cars that I own and that are in my garage. So there's no longer like a little house icon with cars that you own. There's just like this black background. To it so you can take a look at that you'll see it on some of the cars like i said um in a little bit earlier if you'd like to know some of the cars i had like a nissan gtr if you go back to the gtr there you go ram you see how that one's black that's what it looks like anyways there you go uh anyways other than that that is basically the full car list for forza motorsport 7 i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you subscribe down below make sure you enter the giveaway get yourself a free code of the game who can complain with that i don't I, I don't think anyone but um anyways i hope you enjoyed this video i will have a bunch more forza motorsport 7 videos coming throughout the week and the day i'm gonna have like five videos for forza motorsport 7 today so like i said sit back relax today is forza motorsport 7 day so uh i i hope you get ready for that it should be a pretty good one also, please note, um, anyone watching this video and would like to take part in the Forza uh, Motorsport 7 Limo NASCAR video, please make sure you go out and get the, NAS uh, the Limo 
NASCAR or the limo straight away when you start the game. Just a heads up because I'd like to do that this weekend. Um, so yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll leave you with the final few cars here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.